What up guys, so I'm sitting here once again in front of my decrepit PC with a PS2 controller. PS2, as usual, hidden down the side, out of the way. Um, I've slotted into the PS2 Starsky and Hutch. Um, the disc was in awful condition, so uh, I don't know how much of this game we're going to be able to play. But I'm going to hit record right now. Uh, so this was released in 2003. Uh, I'm not expecting great things from this game to be honest. I'm expecting a mediocre game. I think there was a really bad... Um, Game Boy Advance game um, based on this movie. Get on with the game. Right, story mode. I'm basically expecting like a driver clone. Um, BC! And there's a load of shit. So you got a cartoon style going on, which is interesting um, because it's based on a movie and not a cartoon. Um, the graphics look shit on the, uh, the back of the box, but it does say it has the voice of Antonio Fargus aka Huggy Bear which will probably just grate on you to be honest so yes fast cars Let's see what we got welcome to Bay City so yeah it basically starts off like a driver on the PS1 um, this I was going to say it's even got the, uh, the burnout button, but it's actually the handbrake. Uh, so two views that we can uh, choose between. Control it with either the directional pad or the uh, analog stick, and you can shoot shit. So it's like driving with guns. Uh, handling wise. Um, very arcadey, you can't really fully lose grip. And you shoot logo symbol type things, icons to get more viewers. So uh, it's this game based on shooting the Starsky and Butch movie. It's ridiculous. Shoot barrels to cause damage. Uh, graphics wise, uh, not the best graphics I've seen on the PS2. It um, does go along at an okay rate. Uh, it's hardly 60 frames per second moving uh, smooth. smooth. Stop! Nice little uh, donut there, saying it's quite hard to uh, fully lose traction. Oh, you can't really do it when you're cornering. There's just all sorts of crap that you can shoot. Ram that motherfucker. Well, I'm bored, to be honest. It's just uh, absolutely average. And the lamppost does not seem great when you crash into it. And I have a limited amount of ammo it would seem. Oh, it's fucking boring now. This game sucks balls. Stupid fucking, I'm not actually, it's automatically targeting the car, um, at least in car, uh, games where you have to ram the car off the road. You kind of have to, co you, you're concentrating on the driving and keeping close to the, the enemy's car, the person you're trying to hunt down, but, um, 
fucking niche, you, you don't have to be anywhere near the, the car, you're just shooting at it, it's just fucking boring. God, that's tight grip, why do I need more grip? I'm not struggling with goddamn grip. been obviously broken about the game, it's just boring. I don't know what we're trying to go for with this one. Going on forever, I just want it to end. God damn you, oh for God's sake. It's just he's so used to games where the lampposts just fall out. I know lampposts don't actually do that in real life. If you crash into you're probably going to die. Um, but yeah, I'm so used to games like GTA where the, the lampposts just fly into the air when you hit them. Um, just... Well, that one does, so why can't the ones on the fucking corner do it? This game sucks, that's why. Never seen the movie, so. Uh... It's one of those things that should have stayed in the 70s or 80s, whenever the. Uh... Originally used to film this crap. Come on, for God's sake, he's on fire and everything. Yes, we finally stopped him. Fantastic. That's great. Fantastic dick. In some kind of heart. So we'll try the next level. And if it's exactly the same thing, it's this game's going off. Because it's fucking can't be doing with it. And we're loading. I would rather play the Italian job on the PS1 because that game actually has character. This game has no character. It's just so plain and... Although the graphics are actually better in the game than the ones on the back of the box somehow. I mean, you can't obviously... I'm waving it in front of the camera here but you can't really see them but... They look absolutely diabolical on the back but they're not actually that bad when you play the game yeah they can't even sell the game on the back you can't, that's the usual way you get people buying these shitty games so we've got a uh, police car ah, so now we've got to get to a, a bank Shit, power ups, etc. Get to the bank. Uh, it's the bank there. The map's not very good. Doesn't seem to uh, scale in and out. But now we're going to chase the black man. Does that mean like shoot it down or just chase? No, I fucking shoot it anyway. Fuck him. Fucking dick suckers! Take my fucking balls, watch out. That is what I call a riding shotgun. There you go, there you go, make your bloody mind up. Fucking retards. So it's just all these pointless fucking 
target so you have to shoot the do shit. It's like there's a target for everything. Which makes more puzzle wet. So uh, this guy clearly can't fucking drive. He's gone down this little back alley, so we're gonna follow him and just carry on shooting the motherfucker. Scared you bitches. But it's getting a bit more exciting now. I mean, if the first level had a bit like this, then uh, the game might draw me in, but it's just so mediocre and ridiculous. Some cars uh, joining the shoot here. I don't know whether they're bad cars or good cars. I'll shoot the bad cars, to be honest. Maybe good guys. Uh, the frame rate is starting to chug uh, quite significantly. God, there's just so many different targets to shoot, it's just stupid. I mean, if you can pick this game up for a couple of quid, why not? But uh, there's better ways to spend your time. I can't be still be in there. Oh, you big Musics, uh, rubbish, but uh, it's a style that you'd expect from this game setting in this uh, moment in time. This period is the word I was looking for. I oh, So yeah, so I think 12 minutes of my life um, wasted on this game is enough, so... Yeah, uh, Starsky and Hutch. Um, there's nothing really that wrong about the game. Um, I mean, if I was going to give it a score out of 10, I'd give it a 5 or a 6. Uh, it's just so mediocre and mundane. The game's not really got any character or... You know, it doesn't really excel in any way, so yeah, I won't pay more than £2 for it, to be honest.